they stuck up arrogant you would never see me talk to them i won't say nothing to them talk nothing you know what i'm saying and um and people this is something when you're talking about it there are some people that think that when they walk into a room they're the top or something in any room they walk in right mm -hmm. and uh based off they might feel like they got more money than people or they do something in a certain area and, and I be want to tell people, listen, bro, just because you do something in this little area over here, this little small area <laughs> over here, it can be entertainment, whatever, don't come in the room with me and thinking that you're going to sun me because that ain't happening. You know right, we had a conversation about right, that. Right, you know what I'm saying? You, you ain't no sunning, bro. It's just like, yo, kill that because yeah. I'll make you look that small. Uh -huh. Really? You know what I'm saying? Because I'll, I'll take something within your thing <laughs> and, and, and make you look small with yeah. it. But but I, I spend so much time just kind of sitting back and looking at people sometimes. And, Me too. You know, they feel like they got more, do more, or, or no more. I won't show it on my face, though, because, and that's what I tell people. If you if you, if you you know something or you aware of things, don't show people that you know it. Just, you know what I'm saying? Be like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, one, it's you not being humble mm -hmm. at that point. You know what I'm saying? You already know what you know or whatever you understand. It's not your place to put, to you know what I'm saying, to show any type of face or like, mm, to them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know. Well, and I, you know you can one-on-one -on -one with them and you can make them know. Yeah. Well, that, and that's me. I'm a one-on-one -on -one person. I'll get you one-on-one -on -one and then I'm going to hit and step on Me? <laughs> it I make, ain't gonna, but I ain't going to make you look stupid in front of your people, though. I don't say, G, I, I'm very smart, G. Mm. And I, I sit back and right. I... I can sit there and let people tell me buku things they don't even know about. And I just right. be like, for real? But yeah. in my head, I'm saying, bro, that's stupid. You dumb. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't say nothing. Right. I sit and, back and, 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 and that's what I'm saying. That's why I say you, you, I love your personality. <laughs> because you don't portray any of those things that I pick up on with people a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? And so if anybody could ever misconstrue or think something, you know how people can think people look a certain way and, oh, I know they like this. And like, no, mm -hmm. man. There's a lot of people that are like that, but everybody ain't like that. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and it'd be, it'd be insecurities people have or jealousies or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? It just It, it is what it is. Man. Yeah. It is what it is. And that's sad. It is that's sad. That's sad. That's the way of the world, though, right. man. You, you got to, like what I said, you just got to just living. You living in it. You just gotta make the best of it, whatever you got going on. Like I said, I sit back and watch. I just be listening, mm. I be laughing in my head. I just be like, man, you know. But now, I right. don't jump into conversations, especially if I don't know what they talking about. Right, exactly. If you're an engineer and you telling me about how to mm. do, I, I'm not about to be like, yeah, I, I did this. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna right. sit back and listen. I might learn something. Right, but so, I, I think what happens, a lot of people, some people will sit in rooms with smart people and they'll hear smart people talking, right? Then they'll come back to other people <laughs> and regurgitate what these people yeah, are saying, like what they, they heard, it. like they know. Mm -hmm. And I know it's only they learned it because they heard. Yeah. Or they might read something, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And But they don't know, because yeah. it's the application aspect of it. Because maybe what you're talking about, I may have application in that. Mm -hmm. You just have knowledge from reading a book or hearing somebody talk about it. True. But I might have the application, right? If somebody played in the NFL, you could play sports your whole life or whatever, and this person played in the NFL, and now here I am. I'm over here because I'm around a number of people that played in the NFL, but I'm in a group talking to some other people yeah. about the NFL like I know. Yeah. And, and it's like, and bro, I ain't never played a day in the uh -huh. NFL. I just know because the people around me. That's you know, how don't, I don't think you're smart because the people around you are smart. That's how I be, You, you get what I'm saying? And, and that's what I see a lot of things. That's where cap comes from, I think. A lot of people be capping. They act like they know more than what they really yeah. know. And no, it's just because you was in a room with people talking. You know, you know, in New Orleans, we been using the word capping. I don't mm. know, you from... Um, I'm from North Carolina. Yeah, you from North Carolina, yeah, we, right? We ain't, we ain't never say cap. So, and, in New Orleans, when I was little, in the 80s, bro, we used to say capping. But it wasn't the way they used it now. Right. When we used capping in New Orleans, it used to be like... Uh, your mama, your mama has so short she can't roll it with, you know. And we say, oh, you want cap? Yeah, like, see, we, we say snapping or scoring. Yeah, we, see, we it's, it scoring. it's different in everything. Capping right. wasn't. Was capping cap was, was this. That too. We, <laughs> like, bro, you, you say, heard you young cap. got cap? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah I heard that cap. You know? But, yeah, we right. uh we use capping in a different way. But now, you know, they're using this stuff that we used to do back in the days, uh, what right. they wanted to be now. But, mm. but yeah, man, capping, you're right. That's what people do. They do that a lot. Oh, oh, they do oh, it a lot. Hu ear hustlers they come with knowledge lot. through ear hustling. You know, they don't know nothing. Man. Music, you know, we ain't talked about that. Have you left music alone? It's still part of your 
your your dietary supplement or what, man? Mm. I, I love music though. Like, right. I, people don't know they like it because I say some of the craziest things. Right. But I I do it for fun. Ah, uh, okay. It wasn't like oh I'm about to be this but big you superstar. You weren't trying to be an artist. Yeah. Somebody heard like it and was like ooh you know people right. I, like I say some. I really, when I rap, bro, I can tell you, I tell it like it's a story, but I actually, when you, when you listening to it, it's simple, but it's like, damn, he said some crazy shit. But he shit. said something. Yeah, like right. I, I really say some things that I really been through, like even from messing with women, from seeing things, being around things. I don't really just like, even in my music videos, people be like, hey, let me pull up with that bin. Let me pull up with that Bentley. I'll be like, no, I'm using my own stuff. Right. I, I don't like, I don't want people to be like, oh, that ain't his, his G-Shock or right. his this right. or his that. I, I, I kept my own cars in the videos mm -hmm. and everything I said, I did it. Right. I ain't never sat there and said nothing stupid. Yeah, and you know, when you see my social media, they, they, they see spiritual, sex appeal, funny. Right. I, I don't, you ain't never saw me on not one page where I had money in the air. Right. You never, I never posted me throwing money. I mean, one, no, no, I'm sorry, y'all. I did, when I was off TV, I was in Miami at the strip club and the DJ kept calling my name, but that's because I was in the strip club. Yeah, the strip club, I got And I was, right and he called me on stage. Right, but just but, as a flaunting yeah, person, as no. a, I, you never saw right. me holding money to my face as a phone. You never saw me in that saying, I got this. I never do that, I never did that, not one time. Monday motivational, what happened, man? You Monday know, motivation. Know. But hey, shout out to this right here. This man sends me a text every Sunday, yeah, every Sunday. when he gets out of church, you know what yep. I'm saying, and tell me that he prayed for me, you know what I'm saying, and, and I he do. wishes me the back. This man does this religiously. That's part of his thing, you know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's not a, it's not a, um, you know, people can set up automatic. It ain't an automatic thing because it comes at a different time period. I, I checked that to see if it was automatic. <laughs> but uh, so it's not an automatic text, you know. So he really thinks, and I reply back to him, and I tell him thank you, I you know, because I know some people probably don't reply back to you, and you I, know, and, and, don't. And, 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 and that would bother me. <laughs> it did. That would bother me for some simple did. fact because I, for that particular thing, I, I can get other things you don't expect people to do. But it's like, yo, you know, I took the to pray for you, bro. Yeah. That's a little different. And you know what, G? I do that to the people that I really mess with, my family, mm. and some friends that I do rock with. And I, it did get to me one time. I think I told you. Did I tell yeah, you? you did tell me. You did I, tell I, I sent it every Sunday, and I really sent it. It ain't like a mass text to where right. you see it and he see it together. Right. It don't be a mass text. Right. So I used to individually do it. Mm -hmm. I did hold it, copy it and paste it to send, but, but I did it. And when you reply, nobody else reply to you. Right. It'd be me. I reply right. back because it's for your message. But right. I did used to see people who I sent it to, and I'd be like, damn, bro, you know, you don't get my message on Sunday? And they'd be like, yeah, I just felt like it was a... And I'm like, I, I, I stopped because I said, right. I'm going a, I'm to a see who's going to hit me up and say, hey, man, what happened to the Sunday messages? Right. I did it. I did. I stopped for he like did. two weeks. He did. And I said something. All I what I do. <laughs> And, I said, what I do? And you know what? It's and a I'm lot like, me and you talked about this. I said, well, look, how I got cut off, and me and you talked about it. And you know, and it's a lot of people that hit me that I right. was like, damn, they really like that they I send the messages on Sundays. Because I, I don't send the same one to everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'll be thinking about what I need to say to you at that time. Right. That's what I do. Like, when I be freestyling on my, my page. But you asked me about Monday Motivation. Yeah. So Monday Motivation was something I did every Monday where I read the Bible in front of you. And I explained to you in a black way what I felt. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Now I didn't read the Bible seven times. Now this is my seventh time reading it. The reason right. why I stopped money motivation was because again I felt like people wasn't. They was commenting like, like I love it, but right. But then I didn't read the whole Bible again, and now I gotta start back over. You get what I'm saying? Like right. I was really reading the Bible and telling it to y'all all the way to the end of the Bible. Okay, got it. So the Bible was over now. So right. now I gotta go back and reread it and try to find more stories right. too that I didn't cover. Right. You get what I'm saying? You know how okay. you can no, run the no, material? No. Yeah. What's even like if you read the book, you can read it again and you're gonna catch something different. Something, yeah. Something different gonna be about it. Yeah, that. so I gotta get more material. You know, like right. when you as far as just rapping, I could rap all day about mm. my life. But right. when I start when I done rapped everything about my life, right. I gotta think about new material. What I'm gonna rap about now. Mm. So yeah, it's like that. Right. I gotta get more material about the Bible because I gave some good points about right. 
Adam and Eve, like really. Oh, yeah, definitely great perspective. You know man. what I'm saying? Just, just something for people to really chew on and think about it from another standpoint. Yeah, you know. Because like anything, we, we probably really only digest things the way we take it. True. You know, so if we can get something off somebody else in their view of it, you mm-hmm. know, it really can kind of give us some insight into things. Yeah. See, shout out to me. I be sounding intelligent sometimes. I be <laughs> flair you with are. Me. I, don't I, I be sounding sound damn like intelligent. You, you know what I'm saying? I got to start back my North Carolina talk. Let me quit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a country boy from North Carolina. <laughs> Nah, no, nah, man. But see, this is what happens when great people bring the greatness out of you. That's what happens, right? Always. When you can sit here and have great conversations, right? Mm-hmm. Instead of this the stupid, typical stuff. Yeah. You know, uh, I think we were talking the other day, and I was saying, you know, look at your phone. How many people hit you today that really has something to bring forth of mm-hmm. growth? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, and, and 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 that's what I think, especially in this day and where we at now in 2024, we really have to look at that now. You're right. We, we, we can't be letting people just come in our life right now mm-hmm. we really can't we really yeah. have to guard that and, it's some and people, what's your thoughts about it there's some people right now that's in your life that you got to get rid of oh yeah they're they going man i I, had, I got rid of some people bro and they, i'll let you go this man this, <laughs> man this dude that i used to rock with in college man right. he still hit me to the day and asked him what happened mm. so i told her everybody knew when i before i got married I, right. everybody knew i was a player you know what yeah. i'm saying but when i told i er, when i say i'm gonna stop something yeah that's it i could stop it cold turkey like mm-hmm. It, it's just like that. Like yeah. I haven't drunk a soda, a cold drink. Y'all yeah. call them pops. What y'all call them? My dad. Soda. Sodas. I, we call them cold drinks in New Orleans. Oh, okay. I haven't drunk a cold drink since 1997. Mm. And I said I was gonna stop. My daddy said he was gonna stop smoking right. cigarettes and stop drinking cold drinks. Yeah. So I never smoked a day of my life, nothing. Right. But he stopped drinking cold drinks that day, and I did it. I said I'm gonna do it too. Right. And never smoke, never drink a, a cold drink since '97. Mm. Uh, one year I gave up, you know. Every year I give up something to show okay. God I'm strong. I gave right. up sex, I gave up drinking margarita. I like daiquiris right. and margarita alcohol. I, I gave up sugar one time. Oh my mm. God, I almost went crazy. But when I say I'm gonna stop something, I can right. stop it. So when I got married, I told myself I would mm. never cheat on my wife. And that's a good one. And I told myself that I wouldn't do that to right. her because I was always a cheater. Right. Always a liar. Always, and I, mm. and I, I didn't even. I worked on myself before I got married, but right. I knew once I got married, this, this is something serious. Mm. So, I was getting to the point of why I had cut off one of my partners. He said, and I was talking about cutting off people right. in this new day and age. Mm. I told him when he got married, I want to learn how to be married. So don't cheat Ooh, on your wife. Come on now. He was like, I ain't gonna do it, Hollywood. Then he called me like months that later. Right there. He said he want, he want to learn how to get married. I like that. Right he there. he he got married for the wrong reason because his wife had money. Uh, and when he got mm-hmm. married, he was like, Yeah. He called me about months later. He's like, Yeah, I was I met this big booty chick. I said, Dog, I told you don't mess <laughs> over your wife. Nah, I ain't do it. But he called me back a few months later and he said he had threesome with these right. big booty chicks. And ever since that day, I never told him nothing. Mm. I ain't never answered the phone again. He know that. Oh, he, he still don't know why. He, uh, he, he, he know now. He texting, asking me, you know, what's up? He know now. I told him, I said, dog, don't <laughs> cheat, dog. Please don't cheat. Right. Like, I don't want to be around people like right. that. I really don't. I mm. really don't. And that's why people, I remember growing up, girls to be like, oh, I like you, boy, but I know you a player. They always stereotype mm. me. See, people don't know. Y'all got to, when people get around me and start talking to me, that's when they be like, oh, I like this dude. This right. dude is him. Right. But people stereotype, you know, so. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. This probably it goes along with what you're saying. It's probably weird, and it's me. I, I didn't go. No, I ain't, ain't go with nobody to hang with them to cheat anyway. Huh? Never. I've never hung with somebody to go cheat. Who cheated? Yeah. yeah. And this is you no. Know I'm saying I never hung with them to go do it. You know what I'm saying? Oh you know, yeah. Go meet some girls. Yeah. Because I was never. I'm not going. I'm not. Me and my homeboy. We're not going to meet some girls. That ain't happening. Mm-hmm. I'm going to meet some girl. I'm an individual person. I can do it myself. I, yeah. got, I got enough conversation. I can talk to any female. I didn't need my homeboy. You know how people would go to the club together? Yeah. And they'd be in the same car? I never understood that. <laughs> I'd be like, y'all doing what? I'm going to the club. And they get in the car together. I go, huh? Well, I got in the car with some people because see, I ain't going to drive. No. <laughs> but, but, see, but see, I, ain't dr- I don't drink. I never drink. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, I, you know, yeah. so my thing was, even if I did, I wasn't going to ride with nobody. Because this is the reason why. We get to the spot. I already know my book something. Yeah. Why am I going to the book? I'm not, what am I going to just hang with you? <laughs> I'm just going, yeah, so we can high five each other all night, right? No, we're going to high five each other, so we can go to the bathroom together. No. So we'll go in a separate car. We'll walk in the door together. at the same time. Yeah. But once we walk in, I'm like, all right, bro, just just throw my hand, up, hold, throw your hand up if you're rolling so I know you're good. 
I'm going that way or right <laughs> here or they going that way. Because we're going there for some women. Yeah, that's I don't, we don't tag. We ain't no tag teaming. You know what I'm saying? I don't need you to book nothing. Yeah. Because if I'm gonna leave, I'm leaving. I tell my girl the time. I say, babe, we only go to the club because to get these the women. book. Yeah. The book. But oh, so so you want to just went your homeboys where they want to just go to club just to be with their boys? No, no, no. Oh, okay. We went, just, I told her we used to go. Right I told right her we used to go to the club that. to get the women. Okay, that's what I'm but saying. But I used to ride with the people because I ain't want. I, I hate driving, bro. Right. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> so if I found something, she had to have a whip. You did right. or get to my oh, whip. Oh, they have a whip now. You know so what I'm saying? I, I, well, I had a whip. I, I've always had a car, but right. I. I don't like to drive. Oh, okay. I really don't okay. like to drive. I get it. So I did, but see. Mm-hmm. I ain't in a club high five and I'm I'm in a club. <laughs> but you seen them guys. Yeah. They, they be on the wall together. Yeah. They go to the bathroom together. I I'm, I'm like I'll, be, I'll be sitting somewhere with a, with a, with a girl and I'm talking to them. I'm like, look at these fools. <laughs> That's how I get to book them. Cause I'm we talking about these fools. <laughs> look at them fools talking against the wall. <laughs> True story. I was in Japan one time. You know what I'm saying? This years ago, right? So we had heard everything about Japan and I was in Korea at the time. Mm-hmm. So we would be in Korea. We would fly all over different countries because on four day weekend we like we going to another country. Yeah, we over on this side of the world. Let's just go fly to another country, right? So that's me and two of my homeboys, right? So we will get there. We stay in three separate places. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got three separate living conditions, and then we'll go to the spot. So we fell up in this one spot, and um, we walk in, bro. It's women everywhere, and I see dude. We see dude. Dudes was standing on the wall. We walked in. We looked. We looked at each other. We like, is something wrong with these women? Yeah, like, what What's up? Because the dudes were standing. I didn't understand that. So where we from, we, we don't do that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? In Carolina, we don't do that. So we walk in. I'm going to look. But we in another country. So I'm trying, trying to play this off right here. But it's Americans everywhere. And um, so I'm like, look. And the sisters, they, the sisters are sitting there just bad and fine. They on the floor dancing. And dudes was on the wall. Not behind them. Not yeah, they on the wall, literally. I said, oh, it's a wrap. We going over here as much as possible. Yeah. Bro, I walked out there and started talking to them. Hey, what y'all doing? They, they were surprised. Yeah. I didn't think, oh, girl, you better come on over here. Bro. Hey, we got three of them out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm pulling with, I'm, so I, to the point where I, w- I was going to get dudes. To don't know them. Know, yeah. I, I walk up to the wall. Hey, bro, come here. And they'll come. I said, and I put them on somebody. Put them on somebody. So next thing they know, the whole floor packed people dancing. We didn't understand that, bro. And I, I never understood that. To go to a place, even clubs or bars around here, right? I've only seen it through Instagram. Mm-hmm. It'd be a bunch of dudes. You know what? Me and Tony. Me and Tony. We went to this one particular place. I ain't give them no credit. That place, no credit. I ain't saying their name. But um, we went to this spot one time. And uh, cause we just met. You know, he followed my show. So I said, oh, we're going to meet, blah, blah, blah. Let's go meet at this spot right here. Okay, cool. We get up in there. We walk in. Dudes packed up over here. Packed over here. Mean mugging. It's women all over, just sitting there, just bad, just fine. And I'm looking at him now. He married, you know what I'm saying? I'm single, so I could have booked anything I wanted to book, right? But he married, so I'm gonna respect off the fact that he married. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I ain't, I don't want nothing to be booked around. So, but we sitting there, but they, it didn't matter because they were just talking. They were having a conversation, and we, they were coming up, we talking, blah blah blah. Dudes over there mean mugging to the point where I had to walk to some dudes. I like, bro. Y'all sell these women in here. And y'all standing <laughs> over here eight deep looking. But you know what, though? In a club, no. Nah. It's the club. I'm going to edit that part out, what I'm saying right now. I just want to get nah, that piece out. No, don't edit right. it. That See, piece. let but, the girls know. But you know what? That was crazy. It, it could be for certain other things, though. These dudes, listen, dudes get in the club and get intimidated <laughs> by women. Ooh. Women shooting you down every time you're Ooh. trying to, what's up, girl? Nah, nah. You know, it, right. it's a lot now. It's another woman around the corner today. It's, she, it's she, a lot she, now. She's another one right there. Man, it's more know, women than men to be in the club. Now, certain men, now they got certain men that can get shot down and holler at multiple chicks. But right. then there's some dudes that ego, the, the, they feel like they're the, you know, they come in that thing, they're the, 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 or they, or they the thing. Yeah, okay. and then the That's girl tell is. you, oh no, I'm good. Or oh, the ego. Yeah, okay, so, God. you know, it could be multiple. Oh, man, I, I still don't understand it though. And I see it all the time. Me too. neither. I, I still see my, it. My, I, my, my goal was to go get the women when I got in the club. That was the goal. Oh, I got man, it's we packed see in there. We get the most numbers, you see? But it's packed, yeah, it's packed full of y'all standing against the wall. Yeah. Giving each other high fives we all went to night. Go see walk to the bathroom numbers. together. What? Come on, man. Why the, ba- the men's bathroom packed <laughs> with walls of dudes standing at the door trying to get in? How all of y'all just, everybody? Oh, we all together. Crazy. Oh, we we rode together. 
Nah, I never went to bed with my partners. Nah, we ain't doing that one, bro. Nah. I ain't never met with my partners. Yeah, I never went to bed with my boys. Neither. I ain't never known when my boys be in the bathroom when I'm in there. Nah, we been drinking and and, and I got to piss real bad. He go pee. Yeah, because we got to watch things out there. Because yeah. we got to know what's going on. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm sorry. I ain't mean to get up on that tangent, man. But that just kind of bothers me, man. I'm uh, 2024, but these kids grow up now and they watching this 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 type of behavior. And they think they're supposed to go to clubs and go stand against the wall. Nah. A little mean, half hour they home but you know what, man? We, bro, me growing up in in nineties, we I used to dance. I, what? I on that Come floor on, and man. Dance. That's what we went there for. Yeah, I know we used to be grinding. You danced them. them and you booked them. They don't dance no more on the floor. You ain't noticed that? They too cool. That's what I'm saying. That's why they on the wall. I put some on my story juice probably a week ago. Talk these jokers be too cool. Jokers are too cool. Bro, they don't dance no more on the dance floor. It's crazy, man. Like they go to the, they really go to the club to look at each other and high five. I'm trying to tell you, check it out. Next time you're going to see them on Instagram, they'll be high-fiving each other. Talking about what they what they used to do. High-five. Yeah, you know I'm the man. Y'all see my car? Yeah. It's women out there. You talking about my car? Man, who care about your car? I'll be like, man, I caught an Uber. What you talking about? <laughs> they don't know how to book them no more. You know what I'm saying? But check this out. I, I'm sorry, y'all, but see, this is what happened when I get around to do, man. Cause he, he cool like that. You know what I'm saying? We 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 can, we can talk like this right be. here. You, you know what I'm saying? Have fun it's, it's, it's comfortable. It's, it's a Sunday evening, Sunday night. It's supposed to be cold. They say it's supposed to freeze tonight. It's supposed to start tonight. It starts. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know why everybody panicking about this freeze. Get cold all over the earth. I'm, this is just kind of new to me. Like hey, you know, this is some I, ice. I want, I this is some snow freeze. coming. I mean, this is it's gonna get cold. And people like they went in the store the other day. And bought out, up out, bro, man. I'm in bought the, I got some fruit. And bro, people in there, they buying everything, all the water up, they buying every, everything, <laughs> man. I'm sitting That's here like, y'all like something going on. That's how I be, It's bro. just going to be cold. That's it. I want it to be cold. Sit I your ass they, down. I hope they shut it all down. I want to be down. in the bed with my girl all night watching Netflix. Come on, man. I want to be in the bed, so let it, let it they freeze. They better start chilling and watch this stuff let and do what they got to do, man. Let it do what it do. You know? So, um, as far as... uh. We we gonna see some stuff come out with you oh, here yeah. very soon. You I need very, you. Know what I'm saying? If I said we're gonna see this very soon, cause you know how we roll over here yeah. now. We got nothing plan. We we jumping off on that. It's gonna be we, good. We gonna jump off of that. You know, I'm and, ready. You and we going a whole nother route. It's the non-industry route. Now you know, I'm you know be, my thing. I, I procrastinated with him at first. I, I see that. See, I that's why I like him. He tell the truth. I admit it. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll like tell the truth. That's, I like that's when you 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 want to be around people that's gonna. Admit it. Right. Take accountability. Right. A lot of people don't take accountability. But he on my ass now. <laughs> oh yeah, you he's on my ass now. He shooting yeah. dead. Hey, gee, I watch this. Blah blah blah. Yep. He, so he hitting me. He hitting me. I'm it's, like, it's, hey, when we go sit down? Okay. It's okay. too much for though. It's ready. Right. It's for us. And, and we have the we have the means and the ability to do everything. That's yep. that's what's amazing about it. And, and, and so many times people have the means and the ability to do something, they won't do nothing. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna stick together regardless. And like that's the I'm thing. telling y'all this. Even if me and G fall out five years from now, I, when we didn't make all these millions, I'm gonna always come back and tell them I appreciate it and I'm sorry. I'm well, telling you that right now. Out, so it ain't but I'm be just no saying, issue. you know how <laughs> some people get in these groups and boy uh, groups, the girl group, they be going at it and then man. they just split up. See, I told you, I, I'm, I'm telling y'all now. I'm going to the bathroom with my homeboy. I, I, I tell <laughs> people up front, listen, if I messed up, I messed up. If right. I if I didn't, you know. I was gonna tell you, bro. I appreciate you from this day on. You know, even if we got to the top and right. something fell off, I'm gonna still tell you, G helped me. No, I appreciate that, man. Like, I, don't th- I don't think that could happen though, just for the simple fact that how we came together. You know what I'm saying? Three years ago. You know what I'm saying? You know, at the old studio. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That was a gene. That was as genuine as it get. That was but a you know, people moment. fall out for different things: women, money. Oh yeah, what exit? Money. It ain't gonna know, be money. It ain't gonna be women. So. You know, I don't know what else two dudes gonna fall out of behind. I, I was sitting there thinking when I said that question. I, I done a lot of business with a lot of people, bro. You know one thing about it. I, mm. I ain't, I'm not only one person, bro, that I'm not cool with no more. Mm. And it was one of my videographers. They had did something in a video that I didn't like. Right. And they wanted a certain amount of money. Oh yeah. And it wasn't worth it. And I didn't pay him because all. Because you do, it. yeah. I pray. What's wrong with it? And that's the only person in this whole years of my life, dog. I ain't fell out with nobody but one person. So I don't want to be that person because I think when I see him on Instagram, I don't delete nobody. Right. I like to see me doing my thing, and right. I want to see you still doing your thing. And I and I, I reached out to him, 
you know, but mm. I never want to get over on nobody or mess right. nobody over. That's not me. That's not mm. how I rock. But I still see him to this day and be like, man, I, I still love to work with you. Right. You know? But they just have to get, sometimes people have to get in their space. They have to get to the, that point in their life where they can move forward. Yeah. Some people don't. And it Some wasn't a videographer dude. It was a dude that he was with. Right. I ain't like what he did. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So... But yeah, man, we gonna we gonna do some big things, bro. Oh yeah, it's I, got it. It's, it's start, and I feel it's it. Starting next week. I feel it. You know we, we how starting you, next week. Y'all gonna see some stuff soon. You know, like I said, man. Sometimes it takes one little thing to get you off your ass. Sorry for cursing, saying an a word, but it's like mm. you gotta get that spark, right? And not lose it. Cause sometimes we could get high, and then we a good low. Right. We get in the middle. They go back low. Mm-hmm. Then money start getting low. Right. And then you know when you broke, you drove. When you broke, you ain't, you, you you sad. You hurting. You you don't want to do nothing. You don't want to be around people. I'm not not me. I'm right. saying I'm not saying I'm broke. I'm saying that's right. What no, I don't say what you're saying. saying. I don't say what you're and when saying. When you got money, I've seen people that do that. Yeah, yeah. When you got money, you just I'm here. I'm there. Right. I'm everywhere. But you just gotta sometimes sit your butt down and put your master plan together. And I say this right here, and I give the credit to my godfather, man, who um, came into my life when I was 16. Um, the thing I've learned from him and it's just maintained forever and just based off our relationship he and I um, we, we we even kill people you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so you'll never know our, our situation based off our demeanor you okay. know what I'm saying you know cause we just the same whether we got it or we don't have it, we're the same. Yeah. Cause we're not acting in anything. Yeah. We're being ourselves. So when you be yourself, and this is what people have to take from it, when you when you be yourself and you comfortable with yourself, money has no exactly. factor in it. I promise exactly. you. Whether you have it or you don't have it. Yeah. So people say, well, when I'm broke, I'm like this, or when I'm whatever. That's because the person is not happy with themselves. And yeah. I'm not faulting anybody for that. It's just, but when you learn to really yourself you can be broke or have money man it won't matter because once we see it you can have all the money in the world and won't be happy yeah you get you get what i'm saying and you you can realize that that wasn't what it was you can have the most beautiful girl or the most whatever voluptuous girl and that didn't make you happy yeah you get what i'm saying so you know it was you i've been around that's what that's what rich people tell me that's what billionaires tell me Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying they tell me this because a lot of them they're not happy yeah and they got what most people would say, well, damn, you got all this money? And they'd be like, man, don't, don't nobody, don't nobody get, got that, you know what I'm saying? Nobody want, you know, you want internal, I, I want what you got. Mm-hmm. You like, you got peace. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's you know. why I, I make it so everybody who talks to me understand that's, that's all you mm. need. That's it, man. That's all you need. And God give you that. Yes, it's, just, it's just for me. He yes, gives it for me. Lord. You know, and whoever your God is, I'm just saying God, I don't want to change nobody's faith. Whoever your God or whoever you believe in, uh, if you, if you, if you got that, then trust me, you shouldn't have to worry about nothing. You smile at everything. You that broke, why y'all smile, see me smiling? You got why money, you, smile. Why y'all see just, me always just, smiling? Just smile, Not because I got like my teeth. You know what I'm saying? Just smile, man. And I, I, and I promise you'll be okay. Yeah, it'll be okay. Yeah. Because if, if one thing we all can do, we can sit our ass down. My girl always tell me all the time, <laughs> she's like, how you be just, smi- just chilling and smiling right. so much and Stuff be like, it don't be about life, it be about right. stuff in our life mm. that how you just go, you know, debt in the family and be like, man, be I can't control none of that, right? You know what I'm saying? So, nah, I that, get that, it, man. That's it right there, you know what I'm saying? Well, man, I appreciate you, bro. I think we this ain't gonna be no five minutes or five. I'm gonna call this um, this is gonna be a conversation with Hollywood. Hey. That's gonna be the title for this one right here. That'll be a good that's one. A, that's a good one, right? A conversation yeah, with Hollywood. Good People want to know really, they because sometimes you just you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like going to the barbershop. We learned so much going to the barbershop, bro. Lying. Just by sitting in there. And it wasn't no no particular thing. It was just like, bro, you would get so many nuggets yeah. in the barbershop. From the crazy barbers, from the people that came in, from the mm-hmm. arguments that happened, from the women that came in. They were sleeping with one of the barbers and they were married. And That's you learned because they cut hey. their hair for free. They keep hair for free now. Had mama come in. That's bro, I learned all that at the barbershop. That's man. where we going. That's where I we, learned we all of that show, at the barbershop, We going to show we're going to show all that. And that's why it's relatable. Because we all had those experiences. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yep. And nobody's doing it. And that's why we're about to do it. You know what I'm saying? So nobody's doing stay it. Stay tuned, yet, you know? baby. You stay already tuned, know man. who it is. <laughs> Tell everybody 
something that's gonna help them get through a rough time. I... A rough patch, because a lot of people going through it right now. They're not telling the truth. And taxes ain't gonna just do it for them. That's gonna get them. Yeah. We talked about that, right? Yeah. They'll be they'll be tax good till I say April. Tax, say May. Listen, I tax, say April. They'll be good till I April. Say May. See, when y'all get y'all taxes, they buy two things. They buy men and cars. And by May, none of them work. <laughs> you hear me? I wanna put this right here. 